welcome to another Story Corner with me, Florence. Thank you so much for being here with me again. It's lovely to have you. Tonight's story is one of my favourite stories because it's all about a bear who likes to play the piano like I do. So I hope you enjoy it. It is called The Bear and the Piano by David Litchfield. One day in the forest, a young bear cub found something he'd never seen before. Shyly, he touched it with his stubby paws. Plonk! Oh, the thing made an awful sound. So, the bear left. But the next day he came back. And the day after that too. And for many more days. Until eventually the sounds that came from the thing were beautiful. When the bear played, he felt so happy. And he dreamed of faraway lands. Every night, the bear's friends in the forest gathered to listen to him play the strange thing. One night, a girl and her father heard it too. They told the bear that the strange thing was a piano. Come to the city with us, they said. You will hear music so beautiful, it will make your fur stand on end. The bear knew that if he left, his friends would miss him. But... He longed to explore the world beyond the woods. And before long, the bear's name was up in big bright lights in the big bright city. He played sold out concerts in giant theatres. Every night, he performed with such passion and such grace to wild applause and standing ovations and huge admiration. The city was everything he had hoped, but deep down, something tugged at the bear's heart. He missed the forest. He missed his old friends. He missed his home. So the bear decided to go back. He bounded into the forest, eager to find his friends, but they were nowhere to be seen. Were they angry that he left? Or had they forgotten him? Then, a friend stepped into the clearing. Hello, cried the bear. I've missed you. But the grey bear just ran back into the forest. Wait, called the bear. He followed his friend into the woods until he saw something that made his fur stand on end. For the bear had not been forgotten. His friends weren't angry, but proud. He realised that wherever he went, they would be there, watching from afar. So the bear sat down to play once more. This time, it was for the most important audience of all. The end. I hope you like that story because I loved it. But now it is time for bed. So I will see you again for another story corner with Florence. But for now, sleep tight. <laughs>